Hey guys and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. This is going to be our second playthrough because oh my, you guys seemed super hyped for the last season, especially the part, last couple of episodes. Everyone was like, oh my, you've got to carry on with this. And I was like, oh, you guys aren't going to like what happens at episode 6 when everybody dies. But I feel like it's time we can come back. There have been a few updates dropped. Unfortunately, these are not... Um, uh, not features upgrades. Di Divers lung by hazard. That's good. I'm looking for a high athletic score, in case you're wondering what I'm looking for here. I want them to be able to walk around. Twinkle toes, gastrophobe. I think this is a pretty good. I'm not sure about names at the moment. Last time I did patrons, and in fact. There was one guy I didn't get to. You guys might know him very well if you've been following my channel. Uh, but there we go. Zedtech finally got his way in. But that's it. We've gone through all the all the patrons now. So let's have a look here. What do we Rocky Pit sounds good. Let's do this. So in between last season and this season, I've been working on a few plans, a few ways of doing stuff. Hey Casper, what's it going there? Casper, Camilla, and Zedtech. Casper and Camilla need names. Of course, if you would like your name to be the name. Shoot me a screenshot or a link or something of, like that of you sharing this series. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do that. That that's gonna be fun. Um, so we're gonna start digging. Of course, the first thing we need before we can even begin building is getting ourselves some sandstone. Now, something I would like to point out here. Look at this light. I'm gonna make use of this light, and we're gonna end up having this as like the bottom of our world. Uh, so. Oh man, they're, they're lighting stuff up there. So there and there, that's light, okay? We then want ladder going up, and I also want room for a door to, like, the underworks. Under here, we're going to have, like, water and filtration and stuff like that. But that's kind of all I want to build right here. I think I'm going to do the same on this side. And do we go... Uh, let, let me just count this out. One, two, three, one, two, three. Nice. And then we have this over here. This, this is good. This is good. This is exactly what I want. Now, I would like to actually prioritize this stuff over this side. Uh, I've got no ladder. Surely when you guys have done all this, you'll be able to carry on. Let's just speed them up just a little bit. Just a little bit. The colony requires toilets. That is, of course, the first thing I'm working on. We don't need uh, basic controls, colony management, or duplicate movement. We're just going to pop that up there. And maybe with the power of the priority, we're going to get this going. Now, with that in mind, I'm also going to dig all this out. Uh, that much? Yeah, that much. You know what? I might even dig that out there. Uh, I don't normally like digging out my oxalite, but I think we're going to have to. No, we're not. Okay, let's let's cancel that, actually. Okay, cancelling has happened. I want to put an outhouse in here. Now, obviously, we want to have a door, and then a gap, and then a building. So there, there's the outhouse. Even better. Uh, now, I also have something in mind for what's going on above. So one, two, then we go across there. I want to put one, two, three, four, five, six things at the top here. We'll talk about that when we get there. But as you can tell, I have been pre-planning stuff. Just so at least these first couple of episodes, we have... Um, sort of the best start we can possibly get. And I'll talk you through what we're doing here. Now, my idea is mainly um, Come Dark Side falls down. But not only does it fall down, it falls down and to the right. So maybe I didn't want to do this side. When I was planning out and, and working on things in my casual game, I had done a V-shape to try and get Carbon Dark Side to drop down to the bottom. But I can tell you that does not work. You will just end up with a whole load of Carbon Dark Side over here. So maybe what we want to do is put all of the stuff over this side. Yeah, I think I think we're going to do it all over this side. We, we will work it all out and then make it beautiful from both sides. Uh, now, this is a little bit of a uh, untimely time to run out of stuff. Untimely time, yes, that, that's what we do. We, we have untimely times. Uh, once again, door, space, and then the building. Uh, that there. I want to leave two spaces for massage tables and then do that like that. I think this should work out perfectly here and maybe even before the end of day one we'll be able to at least get sleeping for two of our duplicates i would like to then duplicate it duplicate yes of course duplicate that this little room here up and have room for two and then we'll have nice easy access way this is going to be kind of our power zone here everyone needs a power zone and down here we're gonna have other things this isn't where i want to put this is it 
No, it's not. I've come in one too close. Oh, it doesn't matter. It really does not matter. Um, I'm going to put algae terrariums over here. Uh, this, of course, requires some research at some point. How is this toilet making going, guys? I really, We really, out of all things, could do with a toilet being made. Zentech is, of course, hitting the high priority jobs there. I think we'll wait until we've dug all this out and got all this stuff into place before I well, I'll continue rambling at you at a high pace. Okay, just at the end of cycle one, we managed to get two sets of beds down. This is kind of the bedroom layout I'm going to be using for these people. You may remember, end of season one, we ended up having ourselves a big, big issue with stress. We do not have a food shortage already. Look, uh, ed edibility. Oh, oh, man. Okay, we've got the field rations here, but people can't get through here. Here, the here is where people can't get through. So let's get a G9. Got to set that as super high priority because we need to let the oxygen through. The this is the problem that's going on now. Are these guys actually going to die before morning? Oh, that would be such a great start to the season. Um, interrupted sleep is abound. Casper's got a sore back. Seriously, this, guys, this is what you really need to be getting on with. If you don't cut this open, there we go. The oxygen starting to flow in there. I love the, the whole uh, look, the the way they've artist this, made this look, the... the um, oxygen flow you can really see it being pulled through by the vacuum that was built up by these guys sleeping overnight okay with that ladder up there and all this kind of ticking over let's pop these up to an eight yeah let's pop this all up to an eight and then hopefully this will all get produced by the end of today only one toilet but that should be fine though the fact that they're all eating in the bathroom it's a little weird it's a little weird so the next thing we need to bear in mind is where we're going to get water and algae from. These are two very important things. Now, I could just drop a ladder straight down here, but I'm worried about... Sorry, the water is all the way down here. But I'm worried about carbon dioxide trying to filter out down and back. So I maybe don't want to do it there. Maybe what we want to do is have ourselves a little lip here for now. There's not quite the space here that I was hoping for. In fact, let's let's correct that, shall we? I think we are going to correct that. I'm going to just destroy that bit there. We're going to have it with a small airlock up here. Uh, in fact, let me build a ladder that runs all the way down to the water. We, we're definitely going to need that. And we're going to want this ladder going up here before doing a nice little dig that way. Then hopefully that should be everything prepared and ready. Uh, I'm thinking about putting a tile from here to here. Of course, I don't really want to do that, but that, that's where we're going to do that. Um, lots of that. Uh, I want to also get my power at least planned out. We want one of those up here, a couple of tiny batteries either side with some electrical wire connecting all that together. Now, this is actually super temporary. This is just so I can actually get my first layer of research underway. Uh, because until I get those together, most of the stuff I need to get this base working is just not possible. Things like the algae terrariums, the planter boxes, stuff like that. It all requires a decent amount of research beforehand. I have also just noticed that I haven't even begun to let this being dug out around here. This, this sand is going to be awkward because obviously sand is a gravity block and it's just going to end up falling down. In fact, this one here is probably going to be the most awkward. Perhaps what we want to do is prioritise these top ones here higher. Uh, it's it's a little trick that I've learned during my casual games that if you've got sand, just just make sure that is like prioritised up above all the others, and everything should just kind of work out. These guys are digging down towards the water. Water is very important for just about everything we want to do in the game, so that's why I'm going down there. It's also good to just know where your water is at. Thankfully, with the proper manipulation of priorities, I've managed to get at least three beds up here. The stress is getting a little high. Zedtech is feeling the pressure already. I believe this is... No, this is Zedtech's bed. Oh, and also we've just had something knocked down here. Uh, so, Clay, if you're watching... Uh, uh, no, you're probably not. But if you are, there is a change I would like to see. At the moment, if I press 1, 2, 3, 4 and all these, you can see it opens up... All the number buttons, sorry. You can see it opens up my build menus. And that's all good, but I've got to say, there is something else much more important that could definitely, um, definitely benefit by being... Like by having the number keys be, be of use. If you press G, you can see we've got all these priorities here. If you, in fact, if you go to any of them, you can see the priority is there, not the council. Um, I would like to be able to press my number for priority. That would be so nice. Just like so, 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 so nice. Let's get all those dug out in the morning. 
And so the plan so far is to keep the uh, the colony quite small, quite self-contained, at least until we get up to the point where we're going to need to add another bedroom on top. Uh, I think we could probably do with one outhouse. And as soon as we get moving on, I would also like to... In fact, the research machine has been made, so I want to get my farming tech underway. I, I've got a feeling no one's going to be able to do anything yet until the power gets made. Zedtech has come along to do the thing I am literally talking about. That, that's, that's awesome. He's always such a helpful chap, you know. Always such a helpful chap. Everyone's just kind of leaving stuff lying around. That's mainly because I have nowhere to put it. I think we're going to end up having like a massive storage system. Uh, sort of central. Uh, I kind of see like sleep space... Food and sanitation space, workspace, if you will. Uh, I think that's the way it's going to work. And then we'll have all the dirty stuff underneath. Maybe with a water, uh, si not silo, water system down here. System was the word I was looking for. A big, a big box to hold water in. Uh, we can probably even pump all this up. There's very small amounts of water on this map. I'm just kind of having a look around. There is some contaminated water, and that is kind of going to help a little bit when we get down to processing that stuff. But all in all, it's not actually all that much going on. I'm going to uh, pop this up here because I just feel like that's going to be a nice addition to the base. And then these guys are finally getting this last bed ready because I would actually like to get a fourth person in but carrying on with three duplicates it's relatively easy you can can provide their needs relatively snappily for three but the fourth just enables someone so say you've got someone on power and you've got someone on research and then you've got one person like providing them with the things they need. You then need someone else to go around and do all the other things, especially when you're doing new developments. You need someone who can go around and do all those new developments for you. Uh, we appear to be running out of oxalite, so at some point either we're going to have to crack through to there, which will be fun and we'll probably do at some point. I might even come in from here so I can dig out this sand first. Filtration medium is a thing on this map. We have got a lot of it. Uh, any bleach stone immediately to hand? That is something that I know I need quite regular access to. There we go. Well, so that's a lie. I just need two of these, so that's pretty good. But that's not until, ooh, episode four, maybe? Something like that. All right, a new duplicate is ready for selecting. Zed Tech, what are you doing there, buddy? You're just kind of standing around. And we're gonna, we've got a cot ready for them, so I think this is probably going to be a thing that we want. Now, am I after athletics? Am I after tinkering, construction, and creativity? I might like to have an artist on board, because they can always level up their stuff. So, yeah, I think I'm going to do it. Having an artist on board will be much more helpful after the next piece of research. Well, so, welcome, Carl. Again, if you want your name to be Carl's name, send me a link or a screenshot of somewhere you have shared this series. Oh, yeah. So here's a rel relatively interesting thing. I obviously want to come along and put a cap on this and contain everything and uh, have space for another room up top here. I'm thinking probably batteries, but we'll, we'll get into that later. But obviously I've got this sand here that's going to threaten to fall. So I have put these down to super low priority and now I want to put my dig... Uh, sorry, my dig priority on super high. And then we can take all that out relatively safely. And we'll know that, thankfully, it won't come and fall on my head. I'm also going to dig that out. And then I really want to start thinking about, like, encasing this place back up. Because we started knocking some holes through. And whilst it's not end of the world and, like, places have oxalite and things like that, it is bad form. Especially places like here. You see, the oxygen can just kind of drift out into these places. And then there's not really much else we can do with it. So maybe at some point filling that in will be useful. Uh, this this will be okay. We can we can survive with that. But I really would like to make some sort of airlock here. An airlock would be great. Uh, what else do we want to do tomorrow? We're on day three, and I have been talking solidly. I think we're only going to get maybe four or five days worth in this particular video. Okay, here we go. Removing all this sand. I'm sure they were supposed to... Yeah, here's a fourth. They've all got different types of guns. This guy's got a green one. I'm not sure if it's different guns for different jobs or different guns for different people. We'll so we'll have to try and keep an eye on that. Everyone's coming along digging this out. Why has why this got such a high priority? Digging should have had a... Look. This has got a 5, this has got a 9, there's a 5 there. Maybe we want to bump these up to a 6. Be like, hey guys, honestly, this is more important up here. I, I get why you're doing that. Like, 
containment and isolation of the of the colony is important but i think maybe expanding our resources making the place safer might be more important hello we got a nice little collection of morbs on the map there's three over this way we got any more anymore maybe i'd like to try and collect these all up in the same place at some point because they produce contaminated oxygen as we can see there so if i have them in a small space like this with a with only one way out and then have the oxygen filter which we don't have access to but there is an oxygen filter that you can use i i think that would be quite a nice way of producing oxygen without having to like waste water well i say waste water use water or algae or anything like that Okay, how's our research doing? Farming tech is on the way up. I think once we get the farming tech done, it'll be a good place to wrap this one up. So as you can see, the whole carbon dioxide coming down and right is working as well as expected. We don't quite have the point where we can put the algae terrarium down yet, but we are waiting on that. Something else I want to do is start setting priorities on these machines. You can see I've already upped the... Uh, research priority but there's oh, we've just clicked there so I'm going to pause this for a moment but there's a uh, another thing that's slightly more important than research so I'm going to put it up to a seven I have decided through many casual playthroughs that you should never put machines onto eights or nines oh, everyone is um, idle so we've got to think about what we're going to do with them here um, if you put them up to an eight or a nine it means you don't have any way of telling them that something else is far more important the only exception I make to this rule, and we're going to do it right now, is I like to have my stress tables on a 9, my massage tables on a 9. Because it is hard to get these guys into their massage tables when they're stressed. I don't know why, I don't know like if it's a bug or anything like this, but it, it can be up on the highest priority. And sometimes they just will not go and get inside their little massage table here. Okay, I'm going to put a few of these... Um, tiles around more for completeness sake than anything I'm also going to put this across here because this wants to be packed full of batteries and stuff like that and I think actually we're just going to put, make this some solid walls for now once all this gets done I think we'll have a fairly um, well contained base but man we need to get this stuff oh wait did we did we get this stuff done we no no we didn't research oh I'm sure it said that we had farming to uh, farming tech done okay well let's carry on until we get back there end of cycle four and as predicted i think we're going to get five cycles out of this episode uh i whatever happens beginning of cycle six i think we're going to have to end the episode but i've got a feeling we're going to get the research done you can see we're only two points off and that's halfway through the first bit of work there so that should be all good i'm going to go through at set oh interrupted sleep here what's going wrong we've got some carbon dioxide over here to worry about that that shouldn't really be too much of a problem as soon as this single bit of research goes down now we could put the algae deoxygenator things down um but i was kind of hoping to skip that we're probably going to need one anyway maybe like over this side somewhere again i've put this in the wrong these these ladders in the wrong place it hasn't quite given me the space to work with that i was hoping for I, mean, I could even just drop one in there so that's the research complete that's good because i wanted to drop three of these down uh and then what i'm actually going to do is prioritize them up through the roof uh the eight is kind of the highest level priority i like to assign a job uh that's not you know an absolute panic job Everything seems to be working out all right. Now, once we've got that done, there were some other things we needed to do. You can see in here we've got some planter boxes, and I wanted to just kind of bust them out over there. I would also like to bust another layer across like that. That was good placement on that final one. We can't use anything other than dirt, so that's pretty good the way it's going to have to be. I'm going to pull this up here. I'd also like to bust a hole through there if we can get this last load made i will call that a good episode across like this yeah some something like that i think will make a very very interesting shape exterior we do of course also have to hollow out and just to make sure everything gets done whilst we're talking i'm going to bump it all up to an eight look there's some nines over there disgusting nine abuse is not not how you play the game well if you abuse the nines you have no way of being able to tell them something is much more important i've, w I've watched this happen on my own games and on other people's playthroughs uh they they 
get a little bit happy with the nines, especially on things like power and uh, research stations and stuff like that. And then when things go wrong, they have no way of telling other people that something is more important. But, you know, let's be honest, the whole priority system is a little bit messed up anyway. Everything you put down comes in on a 9, right? What's the point of 4 to... F uh, comes in on a 5, sorry. Uh, if it comes in on a 5, what's the point of 4 to 1? I'm going to set it lower priority than everything else that has already been already set. No, the thing that you just put down wants to be the lowest priority, and then you have the opportunity of making it more important. Sort it out, Cly. Sort it out. Um, I'm not sure whether these things need... Not oxygen, um, light to kind of, uh, light to thrive. I'm not sure if they need light to thrive. But so far, everything that I have seen tells me no. They just need oxygen. And I think we're actually, oh look, it's cleaning up quite nicely down here. I was about to say, I think we actually need to start thinking about some oxygenator, but no. I think we're good. I think we're good. One of the places I am going to put a deoxygenator is probably right up here. Because it'll just be nice to have oxygen ma being made at the other edge of the base. Something like this. There we go. That That's how you power up stuff like that. Now, what is this say? Atmospheric pressure too light. This is why I wanted to make this here. Okay, we got our good buddy Plazedtech coming along to put in the oxygen. So that has solved our insufficient oxygen generation. I am also going to start researching interior decoration for next time. But... I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this beginning of a next grand adventure, ladies and gentlemen. We've managed to go around and get ourselves something resembling a food supply in place. We're probably going to have to get the microbe muster in place. We've got people's sleep needs taken care of, sanitary needs, uh, as I say, the science and the farming. And I will see you next time when we're going to sort out the water properly. properly properly man better than i can talk anyway we're gonna put a, a nice little tank down here maybe get ourselves some sanitation sorted build these guys a nice little dining room up here i think will be a good marker and generally make this base expand but i will see you then when we're gonna do that bye